ton of people. If you just, if you, if and you look at it. And importantly, people that are Habs fans, like what I have noticed, and this is Twitter and I understand it and people are getting fired up. I have buddies who are Habs fans. Three weeks ago, a month ago, they hated this team, despised them, thought they were <laughs> awful, hated Bergevin, thought Ducharme was a plug, thought That's everyone had to go. Though. Of course it is. But now it's like, I, then they're calling me. They're like, "Why aren't you showing them love?" I'm like, "Who cares? What are you? What are you calling me out for? You hated them more than anyone on earth a month and a half ago. So don't pretend like because you're a Habs fan, you always believed. No, you didn't. Right. You thought they were terrible. Like you did. You thought they were terrible. There isn't a you Montreal Canadian fan terrible. on earth that thought this team was getting to a cup well, final. I, not I one. Thought, I thought not about one. this last night. We've had several. Montreal media members and analysts on our show and stuff like that. And, you know, one of them was like, yeah, Bergevin hasn't drafted well. And I kept thinking to myself, like, I think he's done a pretty good job. Like, Jake Evans is in the lineup seventh rounder. Like, this Caulfield, they got him at 15. Like, you know, Romanoff, like, he had some good trades. I was going through some of trades his trades. Trades have been great. Trades like, have been great. I, I think the only trade that you can point to in recent history would be the Druan for Sergachev. And now Druan's not even part of the, you know, I, he's part of the team, but he's, he's got uh, something going on. I don't even know how to term it. He's, mm -hmm. he's, uh, he's taken an absence and he's, he's not, not available. Playing. So you hope that he's all right. right. But Weber for Subban. Subban's a Win. year away from, from unrestricted free agency. Nobody's talking about, you know, need to have him. Pacioretty for Suzuki and Tadar. Like, Pacioretty's a good player. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But would you take a 21-year-old centerman that, that looks like projects he's going to be your number one? As Absolutely. of today, Vegas would flip that deal back if they right. could, considering right. what they know. We're, they're out, and Pacioretty's, right. you know, right. where he is in his career, they'd flip that deal in a heartbeat. Right. Um, Anderson where, for Domi, good deal. Yeah, basically, well, it's they turned Galchenyuk into Josh Anderson, right. really. And yep. you, when you look at it, Galchenyuk into Anderson. He got Joel Edmondson for a fifth rounder. He, he got Ben Sherratt as an unrestricted free agent at $3.5 million. Like, I was thinking His to myself. His trades have always been very who, good. Like who, he's, is, who is the comparables for Edmondson and Sherratt on the Leafs? Is that Muzzin? No, it's Chris Pronger. Don't you know that? There no, are four no, Chris no, Prongers no. back there. No, yeah, besides, it, it would be probably <laughs> yeah. Muzzin. And Muzzin makes 5.75. Yeah. Yeah, that's like right. That, and Sherratt makes three and a half. Well, and I, I was watching. We've all been watching Sherratt. What you notice with him is he's better with the puck than you, you think he is based on his reputation, right? Like right. We, this is what we're talking about with Scott Mayfield. Yes, he's a stay-at-home defenseman. He'll play tough. He'll try to make your life as miserable as possible. But he's he's pretty good with the puck. Like, that sure. doesn't mean he's dangling at the blue line. He's not He can sneak in passes. and score a big goal once in but a while like he showed the other night. He, he, right. And he's, he, he gets the red line. Like, he skates with he, – he controls the puck pretty well, you know, right. like for a guy of his stature. So – that's the know. little just, minor details that probably don't get enough attention. Well, I mean, even a guy like Joel Armia, who will be an unrestricted free agent. I don't know if you know, remember how they got Armia. He was a throw in to From buy Winnipeg. out Steve Mason. They right. got Steve Mason to buy him out. So they basically bought Armia and Armia was a throw in and Armia has been a really good player. They got Byron on waivers. Yeah. You know, like it, there, there's been some pretty good moves there that I guess you can give credit for where, you know, now, because they're in the finals. You wouldn't give credit if they lost of in course. five. Exactly. And, you know, he's like any other GM. He's had some blemishes, too. I don't know if he's All drafted that well. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what they've done over the course of his tenure in the draft. But trading, I think he's always done well. And, you know, he's been searching for a number one center for a while, but clearly that doesn't really matter right now. Maybe he's got it with Suzuki. You know, maybe yeah, he finally 